I personally thought it was kind of cringe where like at the at the end where like Rudy and Paul's making up. Rudy had Paul get on his knees, had his arms out, and then Rudy like just that was cringe. cringe. What? That was a feel good moment. That was a feel, that was a feel good moment. Like Dude, that that's was... kind of cringe. When you have to set it up, it's kind of cringe. Let's okay, be real. Welcome to the Anime Is Kai podcast. This is the Mushoku Tensei weekly episode review. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Stren. Hello. And finally, we have Ku. Yo, yo. To mention, yeah, yeah, too, this is a show where we uh, give our thoughts on the most recent episode of Mushoku Tensei. This is episode six. Oh, also, before I forget to, because I always forget this before we begin, <laughs> um, we do have a Discord. If you want, to, if you don't want to wait for it, the video to come out during Discord, we have a discussion in Mushoku there as well. And then we have other anime talking about the seasons too. Yeah, but we. Keep, we keep discussing it in the different text channels, so feel free to join the Discord in the video description. We'd love to see you there. And also, appreciate any comments you guys have, too. So, thanks thanks for everyone who's commented so far, and look forward to seeing future comments. So, Thank you. So, now on to the main episode. Um, just a quick rundown of what happened. Really, the big thing that happened in this episode was, was you know, between Rudy and his dad. But but before that, I guess there's that beginning part where we kind of had a little bit of background of, like, what happened to Paul before they met up kind of like only with him and his daughter and just realizing his hometown was just like vanished or destroyed and just like a kind of like a flashback of what happened before he met rudy and then we had that revelation of geese like because this guy that was just reached out that was just random this whole time <laughs> turns out oh he's connected to paul so, you know it's michelle katensei why, why aren't we surprised at this point <laughs> small, so, world. small world yeah so that was i guess a revelation about geese and then we had you know the big discussion between rudy and Rudy and Paul, which we'll, we'll talk about further uh, in this episode, and then at the end, um, we when they finally made up, we we realized that um, Rudy still wants to bring Eris to back back home, even though it sounds like her hometown is also gone. So there's so with with uh, Paul's help, they have you know the money and the and the I guess the, the certificate to travel to the central continent. So. So they're on their way. They're on their way to at least just bring Eris back. And it seems like Paul is gonna follow Geese to somewhere else with his party. So that's where we're at with this episode. I think so. Geese was going on his own, right? He wasn't going with Paul. Yeah. Okay, yeah. He's doing his own thing. Yep. Geese has his own plans. <clears throat> oh, not not really. He uh, he hinted it towards the end as well. But Geese is pretty much looking for the lost people as well with Paul. Yeah. But he's doing oh, yeah. it by himself. Yeah. Yeah. So. He needs to find his own flock and yeah, fly that's, south for the winter. That's why he was uh, coincidentally <laughs> in the Beast Force as well, because he was looking for them there. So he's checking the areas that not many others would have thought to go check. Right. Also, shout, yeah, dude, yeah. shout out to Geese yeah. for uh, putting Paul in his place, calling him pathetic yeah. in the bar. <laughs> Basically, he's like backing up all our yeah. things from last episode. Like, like all the reasons we're giving about why we were on Rudy's side. He basically just told that to Paul. So, <laughs> thanks, Geese. We got you, bro. Yeah, what's crazy though with Geese is like he didn't actually mention that he was with with him, like in the Beast. Like he was crapped with him, unless they did uh -huh. it in the original source. Uh, do you know? Yeah. So, so actually, I believe before this, uh, there was supposed to be a moment where Rudy remembers his time with Geese, and I think Geese actually cheers him up, uh, and that makes Rudy even more depressed. And then uh, Geese and Paul met, basically. And uh, they would kind of go more in depth about their conversation about like why Paul should give Rudy some more slack, right? right. Um, yeah, I really wish they would have spent more time with that because I thought that was really important with character development. But I think with what they showed, it it was okay. Like I, I personally thought it was kind of cringe where like at the at the end where like Rudy and Paul's making up, like. Uh, Rudy had Paul get on his knees, had his arms out, and then Rudy like just that was cringe. cringe. That what? was a feel good moment. That was a feel. <laughs> that was a feel good moment. Like Dude, that that's was... kind of cringe. When you have Dude. to set it up, it's kind of cringe. Let's okay, be real. Hold up, hold up. Okay, I can I can back you up at the beginning of it when it was first. It seemed like it was cringe until it hit the the, the emotional part, or ba until Paul basically got it, it hit him like with everything with basically with Rudy, where it wasn't just like it was scripted. It, it's mm -hmm. truly yeah. what he felt, and even Rudy cheered up. Right. 
Like, yeah, I did not think that was cringe at all. No, I was, no. I th- like I said, initial the, the setup was pretty cringe. Fast. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> like, I, I, don't I, know. I, I, I can't call. Was... I can't call this cringe, man. It was it was heartwarming and like it felt yep. so genuine from Rudy and Paul. Like, kind of like was it, it, it like mm. like it, I thought it was funny. If anything, and then at the beginning thought, until the end, of tears. I thought it was. Good, <laughs> I thought it was good redemption between the both of them. Like they both realized they messed up and like. Yeah, like, it just, like, Paul just, like, it just, it really just hit Paul so hard that, like, this is what he should have done in the first place, seeing his long-lost son. So, I, I mean, I don't know, I thought it was really good. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I I mean, I like the, I like the, uh, the images that Paul was having, too, after he talked with Geese, about Mm -hmm. how it's like, what did you, would you prefer him to just come back with, like, missing limbs, or, or, like, what did you expect? He was just kind of having, like, those, like, uh, those moments, um, just before, you know, he just, uh, cleared his mind. Mm Mm-hmm. But at, uh, what I was gonna say before, though, uh, with Geese, I, we we I think we got the idea of just like with the connection with Paul. I don't think we really had to go too much more. It would have been nice to see some flashbacks with them in the past, but I mean that's fine. I get the idea. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I, I didn't think it was like completely necessary to go like kind of like way in depth. We just know we just we I think just us as viewers we understood the connection that they had in the past, and I think that was good enough. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, they don't straight out say it, but uh, I, I believe in the manga they did give you more flash more information yeah, to help you tie it together yeah i would like uh, to know more yeah. but i mean i get the idea yeah so if they want to sh- if they want to share one, i think I'll take it. i think it's fine i think the viewers appreciate like how important geese is so oh hell yeah i mean well first it, it didn't really seem like you know who the hell is this guy i mean obviously they're giving air time he wasn't just gonna be a one-off character unless he died when he was in the the beast area but he, he survived mm-hmm. and and i just think it's he reminds me of the character from uh from golden kamui that that uh where he just kind of shows up, and he just kind of then disappears. He does his own th- oh, with the 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 uh, yeah the guy who like who can like he can like the thief the thief the yeah, thief, the thief yeah. Guy, yeah he like yeah. he can like enjoy him, enjoy himself <laughs> make him and like like go through like the bars yeah. Or whatever yeah that guy yeah he's mm-hmm. basically he just shows up he ha- he has like his own thing that so he's doing but him. he's also yeah, yeah but he's like a, I don't know that's immediately like what I thought about I was like damn but it's uh he uh he's he's pretty he awesome. was like to me he was like a little sketch at first like. But now, like I, I, I mean, see, thief, I see, of <laughs> yeah, I see, it comes as a territory, right? <laughs> I see more, I see more of, 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 of like Geese's, uh, like more of his, like what to try and go for herself. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Dude, he's just a bro backing up Rudy. That was nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. but yeah. but even like like how the the whole resolution between them, I thought was really good. Uh, also with just kind of um, with uh the was it the the bar guy? I can't really tell like if he. If, if you know if he understands like the whole situation or if the bar the barkeep is more of just like he just wants to to get his like mind right and then just get him out of his bar no, no i feel like he i think he's read the mood yeah okay. he was able to read the mood yeah like okay. yeah he understands like you know the family dynamics and stuff so mm-hmm. just trying mm-hmm. to do his best to help um i just want to say like, Rougier as well yeah i just i just want to say like this episode like and the way they handled like just the relationship between rudy and it felt so mature like this is one of the things you don't really see in anime a lot because like because you know a lot of it's just like like teenagers being dumb and then there's no parents ever so seeing like the actual like these like this family moment right here like it's 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 weird it was nice to see because it's so rare and like and we don't get this like this much maturity from especially from isekai too like isekai is usually just like their their power fantasies and like it's just all about just like going on adventure but like they really right. handled it well here, and I like, I really appreciate this episode and like, and just like seeing how, I mean, I guess I'm I'm still on Rudy's side, but even Rudy saw like his mistakes as well too. So just seeing like right. both of them, just like, like, and for, Rudy had this flashback too about just you know the things that happened mentioned. before. So he he yeah. learned his lesson. So I guess this is like the the character growth that people keep always talking about from Shoko Tensei when whenever they say mm-hmm. like you know whenever I can play ball like about rudy like this is the this is the character growth that he needs so this was really well, good to see with with all isekais too you like you really don't see much from their previous life but for him we get a lot of like those flashbacks where he kind of got like the moment where he saw paul's face and he's just like i, I recognize this face and then they did like the whole flashback in his previous life like, where where his friends just or I, I'm, I'm i'm assuming it was like a friend or somebody that wanted to like help him out he's like man it must be really nice like living as a shut-in but knowing like that guy that Rudy hated it, or he kind of like recognized the situation, or like the shit that, like all the shit that he had to go through to basically uh-huh. be where he was at, and it's just like, dude, it's not a good place. Yeah, that's that's but, that's, that's good too about Mishoku, how like how it actually makes like the, the 
previous life of the isekai person actually matter it's not just yeah, like yeah. just just this person is just like we just isekai him just to make like it easy for us to be like oh i don't know what's going on in the world like i mm. I, I like that too like making yeah. like the 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 background lore of like the that the real world actually matter so yep that was really nice just just a lot of just good things from this episode they really made yep. me really appreciate it yeah he's grown from those mistakes too like a, a from his previous life where he's recognizing them it's not like one of those where he's just uh stuck like in his old ways like he recognized like where he fucked up like in the, his previous life and he's trying to like right those wrongs in a sense and also kind of just you know guiding paul uh where and just with, with like uh, just kind of like recognizing this time where after everything cooled down, like where where everybody was in the where everybody was in the right, where everybody was in the wrong. Like I mean, um, he, he did such the mature thing. Like just like he he didn't want to hold any any grudges. He didn't want to like yeah. have this like just be like a state a, a strain on their relationship. Like he really just he valued his his relationship more than like being right. And he so right. that's such like a nice thing for Rudy. Like like you don't see that time maturity like in any of these anime characters. So yeah. Did um did we David? I don't know if you remember. Did you? I think I, I think we talked about like what we're, what was going to happen this episode. Did we both say like things were going to be resolved, or did we say things were going to get worse? Do you remember? I, I forget now, but like okay, <laughs> cool. I don't I, know if you remember. <laughs> I I think I said like it was going to get resolved. So okay, okay, and yeah. I and I I don't remember my prediction about like what we all like we were talking about like how because it's a church city we thought there's gonna be like some, some no, like evil cult none of that ever happened so we're, we're just completely yep. wrong about that like no Should cultists be. no 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 corrupt church at all it's just, just it's just literally the set that's the, yep. the setting for rudy and paul so we got, every, we got we, we got that one we got, we got that one wrong so have you every every other isekai show that's baited us i know the chip baited <laughs> but i mean it's nice like not having your expectations subverted so good and that i just, like, like not having just made any this, clue what's happening again i just made <laughs> this episode like really well like i just was not expecting like like i was kind of actually i don't know like like i don't remember what i was thinking like like yeah it was gonna be resolved or if they're gonna be a little more stubborn i'm so glad they were not stubborn like they just resolved it right away yep dude also like aries is awesome <laughs> aries is so good in this show where uh, just basically like defending like Rudy uh, with everything, even even uh, Rougier in a sense, where he's just taking like the, where he's like the calm, where he's like the calm version of Aries, where I feel like he has like the same the same uh, feelings as Aries, but then just kind of keeps him under control. Feel, I mean, it feels like Rougier is just like he's been the same, so I don't know, but yeah. like, but Rougier, well, you, you, have to, you have to remember, like Rougier's a lot older. He actually has had a family before, so yeah, he, yeah. he cares you know, about siblings and kids. Yeah. 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 yeah, but like, but so. Definitely for Aristotle, like she's so used to like getting taken care of uh, by Rudy, and like ha- she was like, you know, Rudy's this babysitter, even though he's younger than her. But, like so, mm-hmm. so it was nice. It was nice character battle for her, like having be the one to like step up and realize that like someone else is in trouble, and she can't just be the one that like always has to like being taken care of. So that was nice. All right. From character development wise, I think Aries has uh, been the one that's changed the most of anybody. I mean, from I think I mentioned this the previous episode from when we first uh, met, met her, where she was just kind of like the stuck uh, stuck up uh, child, and then now all of a sudden now she's basically just like a I mean, way uh, way more mature, like uh, reasonable with a lot of things, cares she, like cares about others, not just herself. And she also mm-hmm. yeah, she's mentioned mm-hmm. the end too, how like she's prepared to understand that like her family's missing too, too yeah. and like her village might be gone too. So like she understands like like the severity of her situation as well so again that's really nice like she she's not gonna like just like just be devastated just because like things don't go her way like she's yeah that's one crazy that's one crazy thing too where how aries like recognized and realized all these things but then rudy really i don't know if he really like uh i don't know if he recognized it or just kind of uh held it back or just ignored it with just kind of like the feelings of just like when everybody disappeared um or unless aries just like uh, what is it like recently got these feelings just because of uh, just hearing everything that was happening with Paul do you know Ku, yeah. if they by any chance uh, uh, again in the manga I don't think they really touched base on Eris's growth uh, I didn't really see it from when I started reading the manga to okay. this point oh sorry no uh, I just meant like uh, I just meant the, the fact where because she she was basically prepared for like David mentioned in the um, about oh, how okay. like you know for her family being gone, family gone. Is, yeah. yeah but then uh, the whole thing is because we never heard that from Rudy until you know, Paul jumped in and basically kind of. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. I don't think they ever explain it in the manga either. I think she just <laughs> damn assumed like, that everything. I, she just kinda, assumed the worst. I, okay. I, yeah. I feel like when when she saw how how the situation with Paul and Rudy is, and how like 
when that's when Rudy realized that his family might be gone. Like, I, I, mm-hmm. I, I think like when they, like, she saw like how like she probably saw how bad Paul was feeling because like she probably realized his village was something happened to his village, and then she probably assumed that the same thing could happen to her village. So that's what I thought too. Uh, also, when they showed Paul, like where he, because they showed him, they they showed him with everybody else, but then he was uh-huh. just left with him and his daughter. Uh, did he get transported, or did everything just get taken, and he was just left with his daughter? I'm pretty sure he was transported. I think everyone was transported. Okay, that's what and I thought. Then, to... Basically, how it works is is if you were physically touching someone, you were brought together to the same place, right? So what? Uh, so his two or his wife and his. His, 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 two wives and <laughs> his two wives and his what? other daughter they were teleported <laughs> to different areas basically yeah uh so without yeah. uh giving away too much if you guys pay attention to what was going on when the the calamity happened you'll kind of know who went with who uh um, I mean, but yes yeah, since was, i thought paul was in the middle it, of everybody it was <laughs> no no i i knew i mean well they showed up they showed one part where they like they show just Paul and his daughter just by themselves. Well, I thought they were still yeah. in the village. I didn't realize that he would also get transported Same. as well. So it yeah. wasn't until everyone, it was, everyone was just <laughs> gone. It wasn't like, until Paul this got lucky. It wasn't until this episode that I realized that like, he was also transported. So, but yeah. but but I I, I remember like they, it was showing him and his daughter. So I, that's why I wasn't surprised. It was just the two of them. Right. So. Yeah, there's some bits and pieces in the in the ending that kind of shows. But some then, parts that might be showing up later on. But like mm-hmm. then when the calamity happened, it's like it's everything happened so fast, and like I couldn't pay attention, and I was oh, yeah. so I'll just, well, the whole I'll just thing wait too is like for the anime to tell us. Yeah, because basically, like how like they when they in the anime they basically just kind of showed us the calamity, but they they were kind of just getting bits and pieces of the calamity, like you know, it's like how like how much it's actually affected uh, multiple areas, not just like you know a specific few people. Mm-hmm. I'm just kind I'll of you know. <laughs> gradually getting that info which also, i'm fine uh, with. That, that point in the anime it was hard for me to pay attention this is when i was complaining about how like just it's just just rudy just being there with the in his like slice of life training thing of Eris, and i was like i was <laughs> i kept like th- thinking it would be a time skip or whatever so it was hard for me to pay attention to anything else that's fair that's uh-huh. fair yeah i mean you know time skips are nice here and there it just just depends on how it's done but uh Good. yeah no yeah. it's uh it's there's Probably not going to be one for a while, so no, no worries there. I mean, I, I, so. I, 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 no I given up on it. Like, I'm fine with the pace right now because yeah. I love going on adventures, like in anime and RPGs. So this for me is like, I like this way more than just like just Rudy, just just like training or just being stuck in a town. And, Same. You know. Same. Okay. Actually, yeah, I think that's I, that's also nice too about how like we resolve this so fast. Like we had this nice resolution of Paul, and it took like what two episodes, and now we're we're still like we're we're continuing on with the journey so like this this journey went through so many different places and we're not like stuck at any one place for too long so that's really nice yeah like, yeah. like i'm learning so much more about this world just through this 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 adventure basically i guess like the whole the whole like like the first like the last half of the last season and this whole season so right i'm liking it um i, I don't know i have like one more thing that i, I kind of just want to mention uh, do we ever get to know <laughs> anything about Paul's other two party members, or why, uh, or the stats that are on that uh, that lady's uh, top and bottom pieces? They uh, must be pretty epic stat. You know, I'm just quite, speaking of like a, just RPG stats. Like it's got to mm-hmm. be pretty pretty godlike if uh, you know if that's all she has. They'll uh, they'll 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 bring it up sooner or later. They'll they'll let you know. No way. Will they really? Uh. <laughs> If I'm, oh, not... no, if, if if I'm if I'm thinking of what you're thinking of, no. But uh, okay. they will they will explain like who the other two party members are eventually. Okay, gotcha. Uh, but basically they're but not, just but not the gear. You're right. They're they're basically yeah. just part of Paul's search party, right? Um, right. It was more yeah, of just like, like where they kind of came from. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just so, so random. So Roxy Roxy read the message, right? So she knows that Paul. Is searching out for his family too, and like, but they don't have any contact yep. with each other, right? Or do they write letters to each other? I I think they've made contact with each other for sure. Okay, because like that's uh, I mean, too. But how like Rudy was like, you know, was, he was criticized for not reading the, the message of the like, Adventurers Guild. So I didn't know like how communication mm-hmm. works in this world. I didn't know like Adventurers Guild had that kind of like like infrastructure to to message between continents like that. Well, that's what I was gonna say. I'm, I'm sure all all Venture Guilds in a sense are connected. 
or they know mm-hmm. where the messages should go yeah. because I mean, that's what that's what Paul was saying to Rudy. You know, did you read my messages? They're on mm-hmm. all the continents, basically. So, but you know, he didn't read any of them. So like, now so I would like, assume that's the way to to talk. Yeah, I didn't know about. I didn't really like. It wasn't like clicking with me like, until like, this this part. So now, now that I think about it, I guess like now, I guess like just using adventure skills is such a good way to keep contact with each other between like Roxy and Paul. So. Right. Yeah, if anything, you guys have to remember that this is kind of taking place in a medieval like time. So that, that, I mean, uh, I was, letters. That's, that's why I was wondering about like how far these letters would reach and like how that's much yeah. and how much how much I, like I guess. how much reach like the Adventurers Guild has, like, even on like the right. demon continent and stuff. So I'm sure all the Adventurers Guilds are connected to each other. Um, so. And then though the the problem is though is depending on how far they are like if you're from the central continent and then you're going all the way to like say the demon continent right if you write a letter to someone they'll probably take uh right a long like time half, yeah. a year, half a year maybe a year and that's if they're in the same place at that time yeah. when the letter arrives I so guess. that's that's kind of the big problem right there's no telephones there's no messenger pigeons or like <laughs> in the world of magic you would imagine they would have some kind of like telepathic device created right but no, not, uh, not always I just, Right. Is as, good far, as, as far as I know of, without giving too much away, uh, I think letters is the only means of tele- uh, communication. Yeah, that's at this fine. Point, so that's fine. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, to to Stren's point, I, I, because we already, we already saw Roxy this season, I feel like that was mm-hmm. that was Shell's way of saying that's all you get. You have to wait a little bit later. <laughs> Probably. <for them." laughs> so mm-hmm. I don't expect to see her much later. Oh no, because I'm assuming because they're all everybody's um, checking different parts of the world where people haven't been. So mm-hmm. Roxy's in her own area that she's going. Paul's in his own area, and then and then, it's, uh, it's... And then Rudy's going back. Yeah, it still feels like it feels like a lot of this is still like Rudy's adventure. So it seems like everything we see is from his perspective. So like even like the mm-hmm. flashback part of Paul, it only showed there because Rudy met with Paul. Because I didn't know how the show. I didn't know if the show was gonna like break away and show like Paul separately. But now, right. based off after this encounter i kind of feel like okay it really is just rudy's story so it feels like everything is going to be related to rudy and like yeah so so basically everything is being shown or told from rudy's point of view but in the light novels they do branch off and give you like a side story like say if oh, it's chapter okay. 11 it'll be cool. 11.5 and it'll be from like say paul's story or like oh, the, side stuff. Point, that, point of view. the, the that, second that, episode too where we where we saw roxy's point of view yeah all that too. yeah, yeah. The, the second episode but like, of this but like, season i mean those point right. five stuff they're common in light novels like so I'm just yeah. saying it's from like I guess yeah, like in general, like I guess I don't expect them to break away from Broody. Like only it'll still be the main focus on him. So I if it, I don't think they're focused on Roxy until like they meet up again. They they might in the future. They they might in the future. Okay. Uh but as of right now, everything is just being mainstream for Rudy. Uh because you know, if you only got like what, eleven episodes to do with our season, whatever. No, we have twelve. We have twelve. 12. Or twelve, yeah. I mean you you kinda have to wrap things up because there is a lot that goes on in, in the yeah. story. Yep. Uh so yeah, you kinda like they, they are I think adapting it fairly well. Um, but yeah, they do have to kind of make it short. Like I said, yeah. I think That's I think this 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 story where like the reunion of Paul and Rudy, it should have taken that maybe at least three episodes to kind of get like the full grasp of how things turned out. But I, mean, I, I think mean, two episodes is fine. Well, I think the anime did really well. Yeah, we got I, the I idea. Think, I think they handled it really well. So, yep. but now mm-hmm. I'm just thinking now. It's like I wonder if if Rudy is ever gonna if if he would somehow like meet Zenith before Paul does. I wonder. I mean, well, I feel if, like uh... I have a feeling like they. I feel like it'd be, <laughs> it'd be more powerful if like if Paul like meets meets her first rather than Rudy. But hmm. that's like I, that's what yeah. I'm, I'm hoping for. I hope Paul like meets her first because that's, that's such it's so much more like emotional for him if he can find her first instead yeah. of having to hear it, that it, like it that, nice. that Rudy found her. So I hope that happen. But I assume that like I don't. Th- I'm thinking like the family stuff will have to like come later. I feel like something else is gonna happen. Like when. He finally reached the central continent. I feel like the whole thing we saw of like the grandfather being like like scapegoated and stuff. I think that might come mm-hmm. first. Like, let's we'll deal with like that issue. I feel that like, I feel like that's gonna be the main thing that he has to deal with before focusing on his family. Probably like, like, like help, helping heirs and stuff first. Well, we have, we have so much. We have, we have a bunch of information from it about Paul, Roxy, and Rudy. That really mm-hmm. like all of them could have like their own adventures in a sense, their own missions. And mm-hmm. have it feel like it would make sense. Like, like I, I, I agree, yeah. David. It would be way more emotional if Paul found, found, found Zenith and all those people. And then I don't know really about Feroxy then. Uh, but I'm then I, I, I feel like what, 
yeah, but the whole thing that I think would be emotional was with, with Rudy and Arius with basically just knowing knowing the inevitable when she gets back, like what's going to happen. So I just feel like that's going to be like the, in a sense their own mission. So it feels like I, I feel like, like if if th- those all things were to resolve like how we were saying, I think it would. I feel, mean, and also it actually, in, would feel I'd be fine with it. In the in the background of all this, we still got to figure out what the hell happened with the calamity, who caused it. Oh yeah, what's with, that's what's right. with, like with the was it. I always forget the name, Pericules or whatever. The, I, I know it's Berg- not Pegasus. Berg- I, I know it's not. Pe- I know it's not Pegasus. I was trying not to say Pegasus, but like let's call Pe- the Pegasus. Damn, good. The we damn castle you. in the sky. Like yeah. who are those people? So that's 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 all in the background. But like that can wait later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Blaine's missing too. Yeah, it, missing. it's uh the the but thing like, is is um the 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 problem is is you you have to know that uh whatever people know of it's not like accurate like you notice how he said like uh like like the boreas family right he doesn't know what they are but we don't like it looks like the whole fact that like eris's grandfather was executed it's kind of like a a private ordeal so not many people know about it so right 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 we we know but yeah okay that that's what you mentioned i thought you mentioned how like how like the you know the rumors about this the uh the the superbs whatever like how that's yeah. false and stuff so yeah yeah so there's gonna be a lot of things that'll just pop up and it'll come as a surprise to I like mean, rudy and his party and then you know i have to take back what i said i think i think almost everyone got teleported because when i really thought about it um i i just assumed everyone got teleported but if you really think about it like why would like eris's grandfather like be in the empire still if everyone was teleported so i think some people like was wasn't but, see, that, transported. that's what i thought happened to paul but it's fine yeah like well, well We'll deal with it, but the, the thing about like Certain every people were selected. The yeah, thing about them selected, having yeah. their their false history, it's like I mean that's common in East, like in fantasy, basically. Mm-hmm. So I'm I, I won't be surprised that happened. So there was a higher plan of who they chose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, yeah. But like, sure. but I mean, like <laughs> I'm I mean I'm so excited. Yeah. So I'm just I'm just throwing my predictions here. Like I know like it'll be a long while before we like get into like the meat of like the, the big stuff with like the main villain, but. I still really enjoy Ruby's Adventure, so, so yeah. overall, just like really enjoy this episode. It's probably like one of my favorites this season. There's there's a lot of good episodes good. this season. This is probably still my favorite. So yep, this hmm. was a, this was a, I think it keeps happening too. Like where it'll be an episode, it's like damn, this was my favorite. It's like all right, just kidding. This next one's pretty good. It's like all right, I'm just gonna wait till the end of the season. This is like yeah, <laughs> but like definitely my favorite. Like, most, you know, like... Hopefully, like the last episode, like this is a huge fight battle between Rudy and whoever. Rudy obtains his mount. Yeah. Man, that hey, is all. Wow. At least, hey, I've I've accepted like my time skip won't happen, but Shredden still he's still hoping on that that I mount. Will... He's yep. s- sipping <laughs> sipping on that copium. I will keep I will keep saying it until it happens. Jesus. Right. We'll I, see. I suppose. I suppose. So, so oh, yeah. that's where we're and it we're here for it. So Thanks everyone for joining us today. Uh, hope you enjoy this, this our discussion with Shugo Tensei. And again, uh, you know, uh, join the Discord in the description. We uh, we have text channel, so we talk about Shoku every week. We also talk about other animes this season. So, so feel free to check us out. And yep, a bun- bunch of other ones like was it uh, what we have eighty six uh, Blue Period, Mav Love, Miruko Chan, Platinum, and a yeah. bunch of other ones. Yep. Far away so, paladin as well. Yep. So and also I uh, appreciate the comments guys. Like that's like my favorite that's always been like the one I, I always ask people for. Like just like yeah, if anything, just like leave a comment. That's like the most important thing for us. So always appreciate those. Thanks for the spoiler warnings too. I'll take the yeah. spoiler warnings over just uh, getting spoiled. <laughs> Any yes. Day. Yes, that's so thank you guys. <laughs> thank you. Yep. So we're right in here for guys. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.